First off, man, I have to say, um, uh, we book our guests days or you know weeks in advance, and Ross was going to come, and he had something come up, so he couldn't make it. And um, <clears throat> he's going to be fine, and I appreciate him letting me know. Um, and I called you, uh, and you're, without hesitation, man, I mean, you're a busiest guy in the sport this week, yeah. coming off of this big win, and you were like, no problem. I can be there at this time, and I uh, appreciate you making that work. Yeah, no problem. I was, uh, you know, I was happy to get a text from you this morning uh, asking me to come here. It's been a little bit since I've been here. Last time was with your dad. With my dad, right? Oh. So, yeah, it's uh, it's cool to be back. I appreciate you thinking of me, and uh, yeah, I mean, in, in these circumstances, uh, since Ross couldn't make it, yeah, I was happy to to jump on here. And happy say, I was able to make it work. Yeah, it's it it's um. I, t- I told Ross uh, he feels bad, and I was like, "Man, pr- uh, we actually had the winner of the six hundred coming in, <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna you know, we're gonna be great." Yeah, you uh, know, I canceled a lot of stuff to be here today. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm just so, kidding. I just want to highlight on uh, you know just how good of a guy you are, and out of the gate, you know, people people think about our um, race car drivers sometimes as you know, um, rarely do th- do you guys get humanized, right? It's y'all are these gladiators you're out there doing um uncharacteristic things and 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 incredible things out on the racetrack and you have this immense talent and your lives look so glamorous right um but you 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 got great character man and i appreciate you coming in strong for us so i appreciate that i think there were a lot of people so happy to see you win especially after the race we'll get to the win later but i wanted to tell you man um when you do win a race all right what 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 does your week look like when i when I raced, there was sort of this box of media that got shoved over yeah. across the table when when you did that. So what's your week look like? Yeah, honestly, it's, uh, you know, Monday, I think Monday races, uh, some of that stuff gets kind of canceled out, right? Yep. It's it's a little bit different, I think, if you do it on Sunday. Uh, with the week being shorter, honestly, there's not a lot. I mean, like, today we had our, our team toast at the race shop, which was huge. We do that after every win. We call it a happy hour. And, uh, you know, every member from Team Penske is there, IndyCar, sports car, NASCAR side. And it was a big day because, you know, we were doing the double. You know, the Indy, Indy guys won the 500. And for us to finish the sweep off and win the 600, it was a really cool – Joseph wasn't able to be there. He's in New York. I was going to the media stuff. But uh, really cool to see all those men and women, you know, work so hard. I mean, you know it here, right? There's so many people involved uh, just to make a car go on the racetrack. And so it was cool for, for me to experience that and to contribute to the sweep. It's hard for me to believe that no one's ever done that. Roger's never accomplished that. It's amazing. Ganassi never accomplished that, so it was cool to be a part of it. But, yeah, really, that today, do this, you know, now, this afternoon. I call into Sirius tonight, and that's about it. Yeah. You know, it's. It, I'm sure there could be a couple of media things that pop up, but it's actually a surprisingly relaxed week. If half of the Penske uh, employee base is not hung over today, then you have not done it right. Am I wrong? <laughs> I mean, really, yeah. if all of the fa- – after what they just did this past weekend, even a polished organization, professional organization like Penske Racing, still somebody had to come yeah. in late. Looking at the eyes of everybody in there, they were. <laughs> you <know? laughs> well, you can, you can see it in their eyes. That's the question. You know? What did you do last night? Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't get out of the track until about 1130, so uh-huh. I got home about midnight. Um, and, I, yeah, I just had some friends come over. Uh, there was only like eight of us, really, that uh, Bubba was there. Byron came out, uh, so that was cool of him. And, um we stayed up only for a couple hours. You know, after a race, yeah, it doesn't take many for you to get where you want to go. You know, <laughs> yeah. what what does that mean? You're hi- you don't have to, You don't have to drink much you, to to get. You're you're, you're you're you know over you're dehydrated. The level. You got no food in your belly. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're going uh, right to the alcohol. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it's like I was like six deep, and I'm done. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> you know, you're <laughs> yeah. just so dehydrated, especially after that race. Yeah. Uh, so we only stayed up till till about two and and went to bed, and then I was up at seven a.m. this morning just Holy getting sex. ready to go. Yeah, so you're tired. You gotta be Not tired. really. I'm a, I'm just kind of yeah. still riding the wave. Uh, yeah. So that part's that part's cool. You know, yeah. the morning after it kind of hits you. Uh-huh. You're like, man, we did that last night. That's, yeah. that's pretty cool. So that's kind of keeping me going. You talked about William. So he's um, he's going out with your your sister, right? Yeah, he dates Aaron. My right. And so how long has that happened? Uh, they, oh heck, they've been, been going a while. out for over three years. I mean, going on four probably right. this year. Yeah. So is 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 it fun at the family reunions? Like what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He, I know he's a, he's a great dude. Yeah. Right. And you two, I would assume y'all probably have no, you know, pretty comfortable hanging out with each yeah. other because you're both similar in personality. Yeah. No, William's great. It's yeah. it's been fun to get to know him. You know, from a 
very personal level now, you know, especially him being at a bunch of the family functions and all right. that stuff. And he's a great kid. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's an awesome guy and, um, you know, I, I really enjoy being around him. So, and then racing him, you know, is, is, uh, it's one of those things, right? Like we race, it's like racing one of your good buddies, right? You race hard, but you know, you have respect for each other too. Yeah. So, but yeah, he's, both, he's been cool to get to know. Y'all both are very clean racers. Now, if he was a jerk on the track, then be a little different. Be a little different, but yeah. he's, he's like super smooth. Yeah. Aaron picked a good one. Easy to be around. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron picked a really good one. <laughs> Some of the other guys, I probably would be like, I don't yeah. know, I don't support that, but he's uh, he's really good. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting because you know people have asked the question, you know, who, uh, who they would ask NASCAR drivers, who would you let date your sister, or who yeah, would you right? da- baby He's your literally kids living this. You yeah. are literally living it, right? You and William Byron would be the answer most people would say. He's yeah, a, no, he's, he's a good guy. Fantastic. His family's great. It's been it's been yeah. fun to get to know those folks. I have to hear it nonstop from fans though. Oh, like, oh Byron going out with your sister, huh? I'm like, yeah, what's the big deal yeah. about that? It's really it's better than her dating a yeah. bum. Right. All right. All right. How know? often do y'all ever find yourselves talking about racing? Um, talking about your cars and so forth. Yeah, every now and then. Yeah. Um I feel like whenever we see each other it kinda comes up like, Oh, how's things going on your side, you know, to each other and, and stuff like that. So as a Penske driver, I know you love where you are, but do you ever wonder, like, so when I drove at DEI, I, didn't, I had no clue what it was like behind the door at, at HMS, right? Yeah. So if I had the opportunity to sit with William or anybody like that, I'd be like, all right, man, so what's it like? What do y'all, how do y'all do this? How yeah. do y'all do that? Yeah, we do talk about that, you know, being buddies with, you know, William and Chase and Bubba. Uh, you know, you, there's kind of three different worlds, right? From HMS to, you know, uh-huh. kind of JGR and 2311, the Penske side. We talk about that stuff like, oh, you guys do it that way? You know, we do it kind of this yes. way. And, and what's the dynamic like in your meetings? How do you guys approach stuff? Yep. Not so much on a technical level, but just the kind of the flow around culture. the shop. Yeah, the culture. Yeah. And um, yeah, you, you wonder that, right? Like, oh, I wonder how they do it over there compared to us. Yeah. And if it's better or worse, if you would like it more or not. And I think that's right. I Like the other teams, I like kind of how they operate maybe in some areas more and then some areas i'm like oh, i think we do that better you know so but you're always going to have that yeah you know i was curious as hell wondering what it was like to drive you know drive those cars over at hms and what, what why are they why are they so different and faster and all the time yeah so, i guess to the point that you decided i'm gonna go, go find out myself yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i want to go do this find out. Yeah. 